Hello and welcome back to Mass Effect. We're still on Nodocrux and interestingly enough, the music here is in fact the same music that played on Pharos. So it's clear that it's kind of an extension of Pharos on the whole mission. Okay. That was a quick way of getting back down here. So, what we are still missing is some ore. Getting to that might be a bit problematic. But at least our Mako is mostly healed. go through there, would that help? No. So we have the journal. Um, Exogenic facility. The colonists were killed by Thorian creepers, part of an experiment by an exogenic researcher. After destroying the creepers, you made sure the ones responsible paid for their crimes. Yep. That is indeed the vigilante way of dealing with things. something that John approves of. Okay, so did that help? Uh, a bit. Oh, 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 oh. Looks like it's somewhere on top of a mountain. So maybe I should go here. Ah! It's cobalt. Oops. Yep, large boss of cobalt, and we are done. Back to the Normandy we go. So it looks like Exogeny had problems with Thorian creepers in two places. Now let's uh, continue exploring this general place. Cluster. I already took this one, right? Yep. So, we were in Vostok, now we can go to Caspian or to Matano. Well, let's go to Matano first. Hmm. Inte. Inti is a terrestrial planet with an atmosphere composed of ammonia and helium. Its surface is mainly composed of sodium oxide with deposits of magnesium. Its density is rather low, leaving the planet tidal locked to Matano. Inti is an unremarkable world, drawing little more than a cursory scan for surface pirate anchorages when Alliance patrols enter the system. Hmm. Why is it so unremarkable? It's close, it's pretty large. Huh, the day length is extremely long. Thin atmosphere, hot, okay gravity. I guess that's not super remarkable, but still. Chaska. Chaska is a large but low density world, fundamentally similar to its inner neighbor, Inte. 
Like Enti, Chaska is tightly locked to Matano. The same side always faces the sun, resulting in a scorching day side and a frozen night side. In the temperate areas around the Terminator, temperatures average around 30 Celsius. Combined with the nitrogen-oxygen atmosphere, this slender band of habitable terrain allows limited colonization by humans. Chaska's ring is unique. It appears to be, for lack of a better term, a massive piece of alien installation art. The rings are made of small pieces of synthetic material and are almost invisible from space. From the ground, they catch and scatter the light of Matano in picturesque ways. It is not known who created the ring or when. Chaska is in very early development, with little more than a few pioneer teams scattered across the surface. Information is being collated about native hazards and ecology, while a massive colonist recruiting drive is gearing up back on Earth. Colony founded in 2183, population of 150. Yeah, it is quite large. The day length is, of course, very long because of it being tightly locked. Atmospheric pressure is okay-ish. Surface temperature better than the other one. And surface gravity is fairly light. So, this also sounds like something Exogeny would be interested in. Metalrush Asteroid. It's a Platinum Asteroid. Okay. Apo. A craggy world of Ineas and basaltic mountains, Apo is wracked by constant geologic activity. While volcanic hotspots are rare, continental plates are constantly piling up new mountains, subducting old ones, or causing slips along transform faults. Apple has a dense atmosphere composed of nitrogen and carbon monoxide. Due to the constant earthquakes and landslide activity, surface exploration is not advised. The rubble-covered wrecks of a half-dozen expeditionary ships stand in mute testament to the planet's instability. Hmm. I'm surprised that there's no survey thing here, because this definitely sounds like something where you could find something useful. Especially since it's always changing and new things might get uncovered every time. Okay, size. Uh, day length is a bit long, but still okay. Atmosphere is pretty good. Service temperature is oddly enough low. Gravity is good. Yeah, it looks pretty good from the statistical point of view. Hmm. I wonder if we get to visit this in later games or something. Ilapa. Wow, that looks evil. Ilapa is a hydrogen-helium gas giant with an unusual ruby color caused by contaminants in the atmosphere. The world has over 120 moons, one of the highest totals of all known systems. Once full development of Chaska colony begins, a helium-3 refining infrastructure will be developed on the Ilapa system, concentrated on the large ice moon of Koniraya. Well, nice visuals, but again, nothing to scan here, even though there are so many moons that potentially could be interesting. Ah, rocky asteroid. This asteroid has an unusually sculpted and artistic appearance, with many long, sweeping curves. Huh. Prothean data disk rec recovered. While scanning the asteroid field in the Matano system, we discovered a badly damaged ship. The recon team found no survivors on board, but they did find a Prothean data disk. Huh. Well, this is interesting. An artistic asteroid with an abandoned ship with some Prothean data inside, so it might have been Prothean in origin. 
Supe. Supe has the con composition of an ice dwarf planet, but it unusually it is unusually large for such a body. It has a trace atmosphere of krypton and xenon. The frozen surface is dotted with deposits composed of potassium and light metals brought to the surface by cryovolcanic processes. Supe's icy surface was often used as a source of portable water by passing merchant vessels. Since the Alliance claimed the inner system world of Shaska, satellites placed in orbit automatically bill any vessel landing on the world for the mass of water removed from the surface. Exogeny has had a difficult time keeping these satellites operational. They often meet with accidents caused by impact with jettisoned ship debris. <laughs> so it is an exogeny operation also. As I thought. Far, small, long day length, no atmosphere, cold, low gravity. Hmm. Still has ice. Alright. So what do we know about this mission? Investigate samples. Yes, the Matano system. So, a log of an Exogen employee saying that there were some samples they provided to Cerberus. So we're dealing with Cerberus again. means that I once again want to take Garrus. Hmm, actually, since I am taking Garrus with me all the time we're dealing with organics, I might as well simply give him Shredder Rounds. Oh, that's a lot of things. Civilian structure, science facility, civilian structure, anomaly, debris. Huh. Okay, let's start with the anomaly. And this seems to be very similar to the last planet we were in. A bit smaller... ...mountains here. And it's a bit flatter, where it's flat. So there might be Thresher Moss here. Okay. And I definitely want to go through here. Something like this. This. Where are we going? We're going up. We don't want to go down. Instead, try and climb this. Okay. Works decently well. a bit more complicated. We're almost there, come on. There we go. Oh! Another precipice. Okay, there. Hmm. Okay, I take that back. The mountains are just as large as on the last planet. Now I just want to climb that mountain over there. 
Mountaineering. Featuring the Mako. More often than you think. These are nice clouds, though. And... Being here, you... Hello there, Pyramid! You wouldn't know that this is a tightly locked planet, really. Kits, cryo explosive, and energized plating. Cannot open this laptop though. Yeah, oh, great. Artifact, huh? Oops. Prothean data disk, nice. There are several small Prothean artifacts in this crate. Including an intact Prothean data disk that appears to be in excellent condition. Another crate. Um, there. <laughs> really, again? Just sold everything. Medium Turian armor, though. That might be interesting. A whole lot more shields. And a bit fewer tech and way out of protection. Yeah, I think that's better. Ooh. Nice looks. Uh, yeah. Let's climb the pyramid and see what we can find. Nothing, aside from the fact that we're standing on top of the world again. Okay, and the map says that it's now the Prothean Pyramid. Yep. Okay, cool. Hi, guys. He took some time in that uh, research facility. So I guess this might have been the colonists investigating the place. Okay, so next up is the debris. Which... Hmm, let's see, how do I get there? How do I get there? Yeah, it's best to just follow this path. Then go downwards. And then... Oh. Find some... ore deposits. That works. Oh, that's the end of the line. Oh. Okay, this works. Where is that ore? Is it all the way down there? Is it all the way down there? No, it's all the way up there. And I see a facility. And I see another facility. But okay, I don't think I have much of a choice but to just go down here. Yeah. 
Trillium. Okay. Oh. Something hostile is out there. Time to investigate. But I can cross over here without much difficulty. Husks? Really now? Gods have mercy. The entire colony must have been transformed. can get in. That will kill the make also, so let's do that. Hmm. Also, I need to change my grenade types. Too high explosive. Colony of the Dead. The colonists of this world in the Matano system are the victims of a horrible mutation that has transformed them into mindless creatures. Search for clues. Watch your way through the hostile transformed colonists while searching for survivors and clues. Job. Oh. Get any equipment from the husks? That's good in this situation. I might want to return to the Normandy eventually and sell off all the things that we get here. These are pretty good things. And this is closed. Hmm. This looks like a window. <laughs> Close also. Some aid stations that we don't need, but I'll take them anyway. And a weapon locker. Oops. Uh, oh, really? No. Nope. Oh well. 
It's like 15. I mean, gel is like a standard number that you have to pay for failure. And yeah, so I basically cannot take any more Heads items up. anymore. Don't fall down. That's it. Bag him and tag him. That's the last of them. Ah. Oh. Really, 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 really. Okay, well. I don't think I will actually need antithorium gas anymore. So, let's turn that into Omnigel and... Yeesh. Everything else is pretty good. <laughs> yeah, I think I just want to get back to the Normandy for the time being, fix our inventory, and get back to this place. We start off in here. So, it should be possible to get back here without too much problems, and I will probably find some more ore on the way, too. So, that's going to be pretty much everything for this time. And we'll continue exploring the reasons for why the whole colony has been turn into husks next time, but I think uh, I have an idea. If Cerberus has been mentioned, then that's the sort of thing that they really like doing. Looking for supplies? Not really, but... Let's see what you've got. You bet, Commander. Here are some things for you to buy. Oh, there's Krogan armor. Yeah, I have two large crystals. I don't need both. I don't think I need either, actually. I'll keep the Spectre gear. Polonium rounds, real extension, tungsten rounds. Gun snipers. Basically, everything else is not useful. Mm, and that can stay. All the pistols can be sold, even if they're from good manufacturers. Train light armor. It's actually pretty decent, so I'll keep that for now. Shotguns, assault rifles. Hmm. This is medium and it's not actually that better, so sell. This is by Elkos Combine, really? Yeah, sell that. And I might as well sell these things too. Materials are pretty good until I get some higher tire ones. Can I call it this level can probably be sold. Scrum rails are still useful. Shield interface, sledgehammer rounds, snowblound, Krogan Battlemaster. Ah, unity amp. This is not very useful. Cryo explosives don't need that. Two incendiaries don't need that. Pointless pistols. No, Savant 9. Yeah, it's the same as I already have. Ok. 
Okay, pistols that I don't need. Yeah, this is not great. Still pistols that I don't need. Mm, this is decent. Uh, how is this? Could be better. Assault rifles. Yeah, even assault rifles 9 are not useful anymore. Shotgun, 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 shotgun. Assault rifle. Sniper rifle, sniper rifle, sniper rifle, sniper rifle, sniper rifle. Shotgun, 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 shotgun. Shotgun, sniper rifle. Might as well just keep 10 gear. And that's too many combat exoskeletons. Splitting high explosive rounds, that's too many of them too. Inferno rounds, that's too many. Kinetic coils, kinetic exoskeletons. Medical exoskeletons, scram rails, shield interfaces, sledgehammer rounds. Okay, I can sell some of the previous sledgehammer rounds. Yeah. Okay. I'm almost at the limit already. Hmm. Snow rounds, fusion explosive. Do I have a worse fusion explosive? I think so. Yes. And these things, well, Devlon, Elkos, I can sell those. Casa, not. No, oh, I don't have that many 10 gear, actually. Oh, no matter. So, yes, that will be all for now. Next time, we'll be back to the planet. So see y'all then. Later.